Hey guys, this is Ryan Blair, and today I am showing you how to use the embroidery proofing template. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the uh, embroidery proof template, which is going to be on the farm templates, apparel proof, or uh, apparel templates, I'm sorry, and then embroidery proof template. This is going to go ahead and open up an illustrator looking like this. Um, next, we're going to look at the order in core bridge, and um, we're looking at the main order view here, and we can see that there are two embroidery jobs. They're both utilizing the same shirt. They're just different colors. So we're gonna gang proof this. There's no reason to, to send out two separate proofs. We're, we're set up to proof two, two different colors at the same time. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and copy the order number here and paste that in. And this is products one and two. So now we're gonna copy that and we're going to go ahead down into the artboards here and we are going to paste it in to replace those X's. And we're going to get rid of the and symbol because sometimes that throws off uh, file naming. Um, so we're just going to put a space in there. And next what we're going to do is we're going to grab the customer name. So we're just going to copy that from CoreBridge, come back over to our template, paste it in up top, and then we will go ahead and paste it in down here in the artboard naming. And now we need the description. So we're for the description on this, we're just gonna go ahead and use the garment code. And that gets pasted in right here in the description in the artboard. And then we're also gonna paste it in down here where it says code under manufacturer. Once we open up the, the product in Sandmart, grab the image, that's where we're gonna go ahead and um, put in the manufacturer. So let's go ahead and open up the first product here. And looking at this, um, let's go down. So it's going to be three mediums, Heather Carolina, 100% poly. The placement is just going to be one left chest placement. So if there were additional placements, those could be found under the layers. We would have uh, right sleeve, left sleeve. Um, and so since this is two color options, we're going to go ahead and turn that on now. And for the first color option here, we're just going to do M-3 for three mediums. And then this section right here will be for the, the second color option. And it is bag and tag. So if you see bag and tag on there, leave this X checked. If, uh, if it wasn't bag and tag, you could just go ahead and delete that. So we're going to leave it like so. So now let's go ahead and grab the image of the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this ST665, and it tells us that it's Sandmar. There's also a link to it right here. So we can copy the link. And uh, we're going to open up a new tab and go ahead and hit return. We're going to log in. And we're going to hit see product details. And so if we go back into our product here, this is Heather and Carolina Blue is what we're looking for. So we just go ahead and find the um, Heather and Carolina Blue, which is uh, what's already selected. And we're going to use the non-lifestyle image. And it's uh, a little frustrating when it's at an angle, but that's, that's not a problem. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna right click the image and hit copy. And then coming back into the template, we're gonna click on this front image, click before pasting. And we're gonna go ahead and control V to paste it in. And if you look over here on the side and on the top, we've, we've got some instructions. So basically we're lining up this guide here to the top of the shoulders and the bottom of the shirt should line up with that guide. So we're just gonna line it up to the corner since again, the shirt's at an angle. Most shirts are gonna be straight on. And then if you see up here, we've got a center of shirt line. So we're just gonna align that to the center of the buttons. Okay, so now we need the back of the uh, shirt. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that so we're going to copy it, click on this back image, click before pasting. We're going to go ahead and paste that in as well. And uh, same thing, we're going to shrink it down, but uh, we don't necessarily need to shrink it down the same way we did before. Now that we have the size of one of these images, we can just copy the width and click back on the back of the image and go in and paste the width. As long as you're proportionate, um, it, it should be the same here. All right, so it's a little off, but it got us close enough. So. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this left chest section here and we're going to hit the eyedrop tool and just eyedrop the gray of the shirt. 
and we're going to do the same down here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into CoreBridge, we're going to open up the order view, and we're going to go into product two. And so looking at this one here, we've got three mediums, so we'll go ahead and fill that out. Over here, I'm just going to delete it and copy that one over. And now we need to grab the, uh, the color of the shirt. So again, we're looking for Vintage Heather True Red. Look, that's graphite. Where's Vintage Heather True Red? Okay, so in this case, um, since the base of the shirt's the same and the accents are what's different, um, I'm actually going to remove the back of the image and we'll just show. Oops. We'll show this image twice on here just because that makes more sense. There's no placement on the back and um, just showing them that there are two different color shirts. And so most of these um, shirts aren't going to um, have this two-tone like this. Um, typically, we would show the, the graphic down in here. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to just select blue, and we're going to select red. Because where the um, stitching is going is going to be over um, the gray, which is the same. So that will be represented on the shirt in multiple places. Um, next, we need to grab the manufacturer, Sport Tech. And we're just going to go ahead and paste that down into here. And now we need to tally up our counts. So we've got six mediums. So in the black section, these are going to be men's shirts. So there's actually hidden um, text fields in there. So once, if you have your uh, type, type tool selected and hover over it, you can see the mouse change. And that means that you can type in there. So go ahead and just punch in your count. Um, we've got tall shirts in the middle column, and then we got women's shirts um, down here on the bottom one. So we're only filling out this section. This bottom section is for uh, whoever's packaging the order. Okay, so um, that is essentially the setup here. We have a slightly different setup for contract jobs. I'll make a separate video on that. And if there were additional color options, um, you do have the ability to turn those off and on down here in the layers. Again, different placements, uh, you can turn them off and on as well. So, Yeah, that is, um, actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's the setup for now. We'll go over the thread color in the next video. Thanks for watching.